I put on my shades, pouring a drink, hugging a dog, watching TV, staring at Shelly, touching the wall, spinning my keys, reading a book. Hey everybody, this is 22Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Popstar Never Stop Never Stopping. So Popstar Never Stop Never Stopping stars Andy Samberg, Tim Meadows, Maya Rudolph, and Sarah Silverman. And Popstar is about this guy named Connor For Real, where he is this huge sensation, people love him, but then one day he discovers that an album he released isn't exactly well dope because he wants to be this very dope person and it's not really dope to a lot of people so Connor for real has to figure out a way to get back into that rising star before things turn into a complete disaster for him. Now before I actually give my thoughts on Popstar I'm actually going to give the spotlight to my guest star Adam Haskell to be reviewing this film so Adam Haskell take it away. Thank you so much, 22 Tiger Dude, for having me. So, pop star, never stop, never stopping. It's basically the Lonely Island crew got together and made a movie. And if you guys want to know something about me, I love the Lonely Island. I think they're just so talented, so funny. Their music is so catchy. I just love them. I think they're really just great. And they seem like all really cool dudes to like hang out with in real t in real life. Um, so I was really looking forward to Pops or Never Stop, Never Stopping. I thought the trailers for this movie were really, really um, funny. I thought they looked really cool. I couldn't wait for this movie. And I gotta say, now having seen Pops or Never Stop, Never Stopping, I gotta say, this is a great comedy. I really loved Pop Star Never Stop, Never Stopping. The humor was so consistent in this movie. There was barely any misses. I laughed throughout over and over and over again. The humor was just so well thought out and so funny and so clever. The music in this movie was great. There's so many catchy songs in it. There's so many songs in it. They're just so wrong and so horrible, but I couldn't help but laugh at them. They, they were just terrible on so many levels, but I just laughed so hard on how just outrageous it was. There's some really outrageous stuff they do in this movie, some really crazy stuff they do in this movie. They, you're like, wait, did they just do that? Did they just say that? But it's really funny. And the acting in this movie was actually really great. Andy Samberg um, did a great job playing Connor for real. He definitely owns this movie. He's definitely a great protagonist. I'm going to give this movie a 4.75 out of 5 stars. It's a great, great comedy. So, so funny. I'm so bummed out it didn't do well at the box office. Hopefully it does well on Blu-ray. So yeah, that was my review of Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping. Now, back to you, 22 Tiger Dude. Thank you so much, Adam Haskell, for reviewing Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping. Now, Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping was a film that I had okay expectations for, but I wanted to see how this film turned out, and I gotta say, wow, Pop Star surprised the hell out of me. It's definitely what I consider one of the best comedies of 2016. Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping is funny. That's something I'm going to say straight off the bat. The comedy in this film is truly brilliant. And it's honestly very cool to see how self-aware they are when it comes to the industry. This film honestly does take a jab of how the pop industry can be, how pop stars can react. There are moments here and there of this film where you could tell it was taking a jab at Justin Bieber, but it's pretty much just the pop industry in general that this movie takes a jab at, and it's honestly very funny how they portray it. It's a very clever and funny take on how pop stars can be, and I thought Andy Samberg as Connor For Real portrayed that very well but I also thought his friends and everyone else were really good. And that's something I say, Andy Samberg did such an incredible job playing Connor for real because he portrays this guy 
that is such a hit and then he hits rock bottom and it's all like the character's not likable but that's definitely the point that's definitely Andy Samberg and the rest want to show is that pop stars you know they're not always going to be likable and I thought Connor for real when he was unlikable he was definitely still somehow likable for me like I somehow still got behind the character which is weird to say because even when he's not very nice I still like the character and that's a huge credit because that's something that's very hard to pull off. Not only is Andy Samberg good here, but his buddies in the group, they were also really good. I thought Tim Meadows was really good as the manager. I've always really liked Tim Meadows personally, so it's really nice to see him here. Maya Rudolph was really good. There's a, other cameos in this film that I don't want to spoil personally, but those cameos were freaking genius. And to her credit, I actually can't believe I'm saying this, but I liked Sarah Silverman here. And if you guys have followed my channel, you know I can't stand her. I'm not a fan of Sarah Silverman. She annoys the hell out of me. I'm just not a fan of her comedy or anything. But she was actually good. Like, there wasn't a single moment where I wanted to go, oh God, or I wanted to face palm and all that. No, she was actually good in this film. And you know why? Because she doesn't say anything raunchy. She just plays a normal person. And speaking of cameos, it's nice to see some of these stars actually talk about Connor for real, like he's this big sensation in terms of how you would see the fans react as if Connor for real was this real life person, how celebrities would talk about him. It was all executed very well. It's not only just a great comedy, but just a great satire on how pop stars can be. Cinematography and pop star was actually very great. You know, it's still filmed like a movie, but you still feel like you're watching a documentary and I thought Connor for real and the other guys I thought they had really good chemistry with each other you could tell they really are best buddies oh and then the songs in this film were freaking funny they are offensive songs and that's definitely the point because they make music that offends people and that's something I'll definitely say about this film if you get easily offended then you're not gonna really enjoy this film because this film when it comes to the songs it can get pretty damn offensive but to me it was actually very funny I wasn't offended with the songs especially because yes I actually do like the Lonely Island I really enjoy their songs so to see some new songs here in Popstar from the Lonely Island it's actually very cool and not only are the songs very funny but they're also a lot of fun to listen to and they honestly had me dancing I was really having a lot of fun with this film Emogen Poots who was Connor for Real's girlfriend I also thought she did a really good job in this film and I thought the overall direction of Popstar was actually really impressive I loved how the film was directed there were a lot of nice shots to it the direction never felt out of place it always felt smooth it always knew where it was going and this film being about 80 minutes long it was actually paced very well there wasn't a single moment where honestly I felt like the pacing was off or dragging I actually thought the pacing from start to finish was handled very well now for this being a short film, there isn't too much for me to really criticize, but the only criticisms I can really give Popstar is that, yes, the comedy doesn't always work. Most of the comedy had me laughing. There were definitely some parts where I was just laughing so hard, but yes, the comedy doesn't always work. There's definitely times where the comedy does fall flat. A few times dealing with characters that keep talking and talking and talking. It's something a lot of comedies tend to do where they just drag on the joke until it's not really funny anymore. Like it starts out as funny like, huh, that's funny. And then they keep dragging it and dragging it and dragging it. And I'm all like, okay, okay, I get it. It was funny, but now it's really starting to run out of steam. You can stop running the joke now. And then there is this character named Hunter the Hungry. I'll be honest, I didn't really find him all that funny. I actually felt like he was trying way too hard in this film. He got a couple of laps out of me, but for the most part, every time he was on screen, every time he was trying to say something, 
I wasn't really laughing to be honest. I didn't really care too much for that character. And honestly, that's all as far as criticisms go, you guys. Pop Star is one of the best comedies of 2016. This is one of the most surprising movies of 2016. This is actually a very clever, well-made comedy. I admire what Andy Samberg and the rest of the team were going for. I love the cameos. Direction is great. Writing is seriously top-notch. Performances were all really good. Pop Star never stopped, never stopping to me is just so funny to me. I was so entertained watching it. So I am definitely going to give Pop Star Never Stop, Never Stopping, three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Pop Star Never Stop, Never Stopping. Man, that's a mouthful. And what is your favorite song from The Lonely Island? I would also love to thank Adam Haskell for coming to this review to review Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. He's a very nice guy. He's a very cool friend of mine. If you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power like a boss.